The Challenge USA is currently airing every Wednesday on CBS, of course. And today I'm with the most recently eliminated team from the show. So I've got Kylan from Big Brother and Kira from Love Island. How are you both doing? Good. How are you? Just you good. Know, good, 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So I just have to know, what are your thoughts on that elimination? Um, how do you feel about being thrown in? And then how do you feel about the actual competition that you guys had to play? I mean, I feel like I had a good inkling that we were going to be thrown in just because of Kylan's like history on the show so far. Like I knew Dom and Kayla were just going to come for him. And he knew that too. Like you were saying earlier, Kylan, how after the car competition, like we were already like, we, we knew we were going to go in. So I was nervous. And then once we found out it was trivia, cause I wanted to be physical. I was like, I know we have a have it if it's physical um, because Kylan's such a strong competitor and I had it in me too, but Trivia. I was like, oh my god, I have no. Clue. <laughs> well, and even trivia, I think that we came in decently confident because of like the trivia challenge earlier, and and going back, you know, we saw Kira day one. She she has such a she's smart. So mm -hmm. I thought between the two of us, we'd be we'd be fine. I think that I think uh yeah. I mean, and then it just is that one question that just guys just Madonna. I so, Madonna. but I don't know. All I've been saying is that I'm glad. I'd much rather be taken out by Madonna than taken out by like a competitor. So that felt that, you know, that was that that softened it a little bit. Yeah, that's valid. And I think to your guys' credit, like, you know, we saw you continually move so fast through that. Even though you may have not known the answers, you never stopped, which was really cool. I was like the whole time I was like, I have no idea who's going to win this. It is so close right now. So that was cool to see. Now, I just want to know briefly, what were both of your overall experiences like on the challenge? Um, for me, it was just so different from Love Island. You know, you go on there, you're you're flirting, you're dating people. You don't <laughs> have to know if like I'm cool with everyone. It's just you know that one on one connection that you're looking for. Um, so on the challenge going in, it was just you know it's so calculated of how everyone's working together, and some people are in alliances, and some people from previous seasons like hate each other. So it was really different just in like the social game and that aspect of just trying to be cool with everyone. You know. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, for, for me, it was it was incredibly chill, I think, because of like the analogy I use. I know it's so weird. The analogy is so different. It's just because Big Brother is such a the social experiment side. It, I mean, it's traumatizing. You know, we're talking to all of the mm -hmm. survivor people and they're like, I don't like it was pretty unanimous. Everyone's like, like all most we've noticed that we were just, I was just talking to some Big Brother people like most Big Brother people we know are like probably do survival that sounds fine and like most survivors were like i would never do big brother like they're just no right. shot because it's just i think it's just the the time it's, it's you know it's triple the length and it's the uh the 24 7 live feeds and you you don't have access to outside five days a week you don't see sunlight um and you just don't see other human beings besides those people in the house uh not mm -hmm. even production so i that was my only tv experience i hadn't been on you know as many shows as like a lot of these people is here and, and so many people. So I think coming straight from that, especially the timeline being so close. And then we go straight into this other, the, the challenge compound. And we're like, wait, we have more people. We, right, we have outside, we drive around, like the, the buses drive us to challenges. So it just <laughs> felt so much more chill. And also in Big Brother, when someone gets eliminated, it feels like they died and you mm. helped murder them because of the <laughs> psychological part of it. Whereas yeah. like, this was like, oh, okay, you see somebody eliminated. You're like, oh man, that sucks. I'll see you in two weeks. It's like losing mm -hmm. a sports game. So much mm -hmm. more show. <laughs> That's okay. That's an interesting explanation. Now, Kira, I've got a question for you. Um, so we saw you a lot in this episode talk about how you wanted to prove yourself. And Justine kept saying, Kira really wants to prove herself. What exactly were you trying to prove by being on the challenge? Um, once again, I think a lot of the Love Island girls related, you know, we go on these dating shows and it's it's fun and it's all this different you know, jazz and whatever, but you know, like we're, we're some smart cookies, you know, and, and we have a lot of, you know, different talents and stuff that, you know, is not portrayed on these shows. So for me, and also just like being on the show already for the past couple of weeks and people reacting to it, I think mm -hmm. people are just like, I, I had no clue that you had this in you, but I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I was a straight A student and I didn't grow up in sports, but I grew up in like theater and dance and like I had stamina and all these different things. So I, I hadn't won anything yet throughout the show, but I always was like really, really close, you know? So I really mm -hmm. wanted to win that money and come back and, you know, qualify to, to win it all. So mm -hmm. I saw it as like my time to shine, you know, especially having a partner like Kai and, and 
unfortunately Madonna got us, but <laughs> I really wanted to, you know, do my thing, but I, I'm still proud of like every step of the way, how I did, you know? 